Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Likens and I'm the Assistant Director of Housing Services at South Campus Commons. As you may know, the leasing application for South Campus Commons and the Courtyards at University of Maryland is now live and available for you to complete. So I'm really happy to show you today just how you go about completing your leasing application. To start off, you'll need to make sure you go to your MyDRL page. So make sure that you have a MyDRL account open and then type in mydrl.umd.edu. Once you get to this page, you'll scroll down to the section that says Housing Forms and Links, and you'll click on Commons Courtyard's MyDRL portal. Once you're here, you should see a menu on the side. If you don't see a menu on the side, you'll see three lines, like here. So you can go ahead and click that, and then in your menu, you'll see a section called Leasing Application. Go ahead and click on that, and then once you get to your leasing application, you'll see a leasing year intention. The application for 2019-2020, so starting in August 2019 and ending in July 2020, is available here, as well as the Spring-Summer 2019 releasing application. The Spring-Summer 2019 releasing application means that a lease would end in July of 2019. So if you're planning to release with us, absolutely select that. But if you're planning to live with us for the first time starting next August, you'll want to make sure you, collect, you select 2019-2020 leasing year. Once you've selected your leasing year intention, go ahead and click Begin Application. Once you get here, you'll see that some of your information is auto-populated. Anything that's not filled in and has a red star, you'll want to make sure you go ahead and fill in. Once you have all of this information filled in, you can go ahead and click Next. On the next page, you'll see information about guarantors. All students who lease with us at South Campus Commons or the Courtyards at University of Maryland need to have a guarantor on file. This can be anyone who's over the age of 25, Often this is apparent, but it doesn't have to be. It can be anyone who is willing to take full financial responsibility should the leaseholder not provide funds for their account. So once you get to this page, you'll be able to download your guarantor form to be able to fill that out and bring it to your leasing appointment. So you'll see here links to select the Court Agent University of Maryland or South Campus Commons. Go ahead and click whichever site you plan to live at, and you'll see that your guarantor form will pop up. From here, you'll need to go ahead and download your form and then fill out your guarantor information. Please make sure that you fill this out completely, including the dates, your name as a resident, and the date that the form is completed, and make sure your guarantor completes all of the information at the bottom. Once you have this complete, make sure you keep it so that you can bring it to your leasing appointment. After you've downloaded your form, go ahead and click Next. And then you will see a Roommate Matching Preferences page. This is for you to use in case you don't know exactly who you want to live with for next year so that you can see who might be compatible with you to live with. So again, make sure you're filling out any information that has a red star next to it. Once you've completed your roommate matching profile, go ahead and click Next. The next page is your waitlist preference page. We provide waitlists to students who are hoping to transfer their lease to potential realtors. And this gives students information to be able to contact you should you want to release a space at South Campus Commons or the Courtyards. So once you get to your waitlist preference page, you can choose to be a part of the waitlist at South Campus Commons, the Courtyards, both, or not on the waitlist at all. After you've completed all of that information, you'll see a page to review, sign, and submit your application. All of the information that you've provided will be here, so make sure you give that a once over and double check to make sure all of that information is correct. From there, you'll see your terms and conditions. So once you've filled that out completely, 
Go ahead and click I understand and will abide by all terms and conditions of this leasing application. Sign your name and submit your application. As a reminder, leasing applications are due on Friday, March 8th at 3.59 p.m. So please make sure you get your application in on time to be included in our priority open leasing system. After you've submitted your application, you will receive an email from the Department of Resident Life on March 13th. This email will be about your priority group, so make sure you're checking that email and determining that you are in the correct priority group. If you have any concerns about your priority group, follow the directions in that email and contact the office at pppleasing at umd.edu. After all priority groups are complete, then you will get on March 15th an email from the Department of Resident Life with your leasing number and your appointment time. After you get that, you'll have spring break, and then on March 25th, 27th, and 28th, we will complete open leasing. As a reminder, there is no application fee unless you choose to sign a lease with us. If you sign a lease with us, please make sure you bring to your appointment two separate checks, one, a $30 application fee that you will pay at the time of your leasing appointment, and a $300 lease reservation fee. What this will do is hold your spot at South Campus Commons or the Courtyards, and it will be applied to your first rental installment due on August 1st of 2019. If you have any questions about the leasing application or any processes to do with leasing, please feel free to contact us. You can reach us at South Campus Commons Leasing at cocm.com or the courtyards at cocm.com. We can't wait to work with you.